It's day three at the Morningstar Investment Conference. You'll probably see this when you're home, safe and sound, but let's get this day started. Are you ready for day two's vlog? Yes. Sweet. As the third day of the Morningstar Investment Conference wraps up, I'm gonna stake out right in front of the closing keynote session and ask people what their best takeaway is from this year's conference, what they're gonna take back to the office and implement. Okay, I don't know what my batting average is so far, but I'm pretty sure I'm O for whatever. <laughs> so I wanna know, at this year's conference, what has been the best idea that you're gonna take back to your office? <laughs> the best idea is combining uh, active, passive, and factor-based investments. Terrific, love it. Thank you. Enjoy the day. Success, yes. <laughs> it's nine o'clock. The session is getting started. Uh, just ran out of time, and but I got one great takeaway. I think it's a very good takeaway. Uh, exemplifies boundless opportunities to learn a lot of information here at the Morningstar Investment Conference. So let's sit in on this morning session. It's a conversation with Vanguard Group CEO, Bill McNabb. conversation with Bill McNabb was very good and following up is the final general session talking about Morningstar's sustainability ratings. As attendees come out of the general sessions, they actually run right into this social and digital media hub. And right here you can see the Twitter hashtag scrolling out here. And they had a number of representatives and consultants giving advisors one-on-one -on -one conversations about how to use social and business. So we caught up with a few of the consultants to learn what triggers the aha moment when it comes to social media for advisors. It's changed over the years, right? We've been doing this now for five years and each year it moves more sophisticated and more sophisticated what they want to accomplish. Uh, the aha moment this year was that these folks can actually do more than just tweet, right? That we can have something to say dynamically. Can we use audio? Can we use video? Can we tell our story in pictures? So a lot more storytelling thinking this year was kind of the aha light bulb we saw with advisors. Good, and Marie, how about with you? What triggers the aha moment in those conversations? So for me, when I say, look, if I can do it, you can do it. Then they're saying, okay, look, this is a woman who's in her 50s. She can do it. She learned all this stuff. I'm just trying to encourage them. You know, take every advantage. Go try the teleprompter. Try out some of the gadgets we have. We had a lot of people who didn't think that it would be fun or interesting or that they could do it, but they learned how to take selfies. They learned how to upload things. They learned how to play on the leaderboard. So it was fun to see, like, okay, this is actually the new reality. It's great to see the, the social digital hub and all the encouragement yeah. you're giving advisors to take the first steps and keep going with it. No doubt. My next interview is with Cheryl Rowling. I'm gonna see if I can't get her to eat a Smartie. Cheryl, you have a unique perspective because not only are you an advisor and you've been an advisor for years, but now with the acquisition of TRX, you're a Morningstar employee. So you have two perspectives that you bring to this conference. So uh, what has really been the, the most striking piece of information about this year's conference for you? For me, I think it's the idea that Morningstar encompasses so many different ways of helping advisors that can be brought together cohesively to make our jobs easier yep. and do a better job for our clients. And I get to apply these things to my own practice and come up with ideas that, gee, Morningstar, maybe we should start looking at this and it helps me directly as well. So you get to take some of those smart ideas and uh, speaking of smart ideas, can I interest you in a Smartie? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Oh, okay. oh, come on, come on. I thought you were like, not for me, it's too early in the morning. It is too early in the morning, I'll save it. You never know when you need a Smartie. All right. If anybody's been watching the Morningstar hashtag for the conference, you should know that Leslie you're the brains behind all the social media and then changes to the conference. Yep. Walk me through some of the changes sure. that you did because I understand you turned everything upside down. We sure did. Uh, we took the conference this year, dumped it out on the floor and really tried to think about 
How can we change the conference experience from the time you register through the time you walk through the exhibit hall and when you're sitting in a general session? So um, we really want our exhibitors and our attendees to experience the content, interact with each other, interact with other exhibitors in a really elevated way. That's great. Well, thanks, Leslie. You've given us great access, great privileges, oh, and welcome. free reign in the conference. So I, I thank you for all yeah. your work you've been doing behind the scenes. You're welcome. It's been such a pleasure. We are getting ready for our final interview here at the Morningstar Investment Conference. It is with Trisha Rothschild. Hopefully we'll get some details on how she's helping advisors manage complexity when managing technology inside their business. Trisha, you were talking about complexity in advisors' business. How is Morningstar helping advisors deal with so much complexity today? So we really think that there's like a paradox of choice going on and we think that there's an, an open ecosystem that we can support that will help advisors navigate and take the best of breed from different parts of, of the workflow and from the technology development that's happening and put them together in a way that works for their practices. All right, so we're, we've kind of queued this up, but when you speak about ecosystem, part of the ecosystem for advisors is account aggregation. Yeah, absolutely. You have a lot of passion with that about yeah. data, but you also have a passion for karaoke. I love karaoke. Okay, so are you serious that you've created uh -huh. a karaoke for account aggregation? Oh yeah. Are you ready to share that with the vlog so audience? So it's a Carly Rae Jepsen song. It's based on Call Me Maybe, but it's Aggregate Me, and we have all the lyrics. Ready to go? Go. Just go. So, a few moments later. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us this morning. All right, so the general session just came to an end. I think this puts closure on day three here at the 2016 Morningstar Investment Conference. I truly hope that you've enjoyed just some unique perspectives of what goes on at a very big event. I want to give special thanks to Morningstar for giving us special access, special privileges. I hope you enjoyed our Escalator interviews in yesterday's vlog. This puts the conference at an end. I hope to see you in a future episode. Bye Chicago, see you next year.